Hello everybody. I have a little bonus video for you today. Um, this is one of those videos where uh, the gremlins in my phone turned off my recording or corrupted it or made it unusable. So I only have a wee little bit of uh, filming of this video, but I have enough that you get the idea of what I did. So I'm going to be working with a all of these beautiful ink colors. We have Cove Blue, Spruce, Flame, and Glitz. I have one of my very favorite school themed stamps from Photo or from Journals of Life. And then the products I'm going to be using are from Photoplay. This is their Campus Life Collection, which is a little bit more, well, it is, it's more for college students, but, um, I love the colors of it and a bunch of the icons are completely usable for, uh, high school as well. And I decided that I would get the collection. Now I didn't get all of it, but I got a nice sampling of it. And so I'm going to use that to, uh, scrapbook a high school photograph today. For today's layout, I'm going to be using one of the Allison Davis, Allison Davis scrapbooking with squares sketches. These are the one page sketches that I have, and this is sketch number nine. Uh, I'm going to jazz it up a little bit though. I'm going to change, change quite a lot of it up. It's going to look quite different than, well, slightly different than if you have uh, that sketch bundle, but I'm going to be working with number nine. And just as an aside, sketch number 10 in this sketch bundle is so daunting. I'm not quite sure <laughs> what I'm going to do with it yet. I keep kind of staring at it. Um, so we'll see uh, when I get uh, inspired to create with it. it. It just, it looks a little hard. I'll be honest. It's a lot of squares. So one of the reasons I decided to go ahead and post this video is because I had this footage and I think that this border turned out so fun and so neat that I thought even if you kind of use this as a tutorial for how to do a border like this, that is okay because this border turned out so cool. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking all of the numbers out of this Journals for Life stamp set. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate the colors and the numbers, and I'm going to create a stamped border around the entire edge of this 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I sped up this part of the, of the video a little bit, not too badly. Uh, I'm going to use my ginormous Misty and I'm going to use acrylic blocks for this. Because I am switching between colors and switching between stamps and I'm, I want to turn the stamps and alternate them. And I'm using some really pigmented colors. So these colors aren't going to need to be stamped more than once. It just seemed easier to do it with an acrylic block than to do it with a, with the, the door of my Misty. That being said, my Misty is still an amazing tool. Even if you don't use the door, I say this all the time. Even if I want to stamp with an acrylic block, I'm still going to pull out my Misty and stamp onto my Misty because it just has a really nice stamping surface. I have, my grid isn't paper, so when you buy your Misty, you have the foam and then you have uh, the paper over top. I actually went on to mysweetpetunia.com and purchased a 12 by 12 like permanent mat. So that isn't paper. It's like a non-stick, not silicone, but like a, a surface that you can stamp on and it wipes right, right off. Uh, and I don't have to buy those pads of paper to stamp on. I can just use that permanent stamp. So it's a little bit hard It ha on top. And then underneath the initial layer, there's all this black, there's a nice thick piece of black foam that gives it some, some give. And it's just 
a wonderful, wonderful stamping surface. I absolutely love it. So even if I'm not going to use the door to my Misty, I'm going to use the mat. So you can see here how I am just spinning the numbers around. I'm using all different numbers. I'm using um, all these beautiful colors. And these colors that I chose, you kind of saw at the beginning, I had my swatch book out. So the colors that I chose to swatch from my swatch book, like match the tones in this collection perfectly. I found really, really good, good matches. So I was really happy with them. And again, if you have this collection and you want ink to match, it is Cove Blue, Spruce, Flame, and Glitz. And I will uh, list them in the description box for you. So if you want them, you can grab them. And if you haven't gotten a ginormous Misty yet, <laughs> I really, really, really recommend it. If you're a 12 by 12 scrapbooker, if you want to be stamping better, if you want to be stamping more, if you don't want like a stamping to feel like a daunting task this tool is like the most amazing thing so there is my border all done all stamped and now i'm going to cut my pattern papers into all of the square squares and this is where i kind of lose lost a whole section of footage because we're going to go from me cutting the squares to all of the squares already being cut, already totally cut and onto the page. And I also used that exact same Journals of Life stamp set. And at the top of my page, I stamped first day. And then at the bottom right of my page, I stamped 11th grade. And now I'm just going to embellish most of the empty squares that you see here with some of the stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I, when I bought this, I bought two 12 by 12 sticker sheets and they're different. I think this collection has a line that's more, um, for girls maybe. And then a line that's, or a, like a line that's more feminine and then a line that's more masculine. I don't know. I just bought both the sticker sheets and all the paper that I liked. So I don't know where it all falls. And I'm going to use stickers from both sticker sheets on this layout. So I don't think it matters. Just know when you're purchasing that there are two sticker sheets and that they have different things on them. And uh, like I said, I think the idea is that one is more feminine and one is more masculine. Um, but I just used them all interchangeably. So on the sketch, uh, some of the, the squares have photos. Some of them have, um, some of them are just squares. I mixed all that up. I moved the title. I did all of those things. Uh, and now I'm just trying to decide which stickers I like and which stickers I think will work. And this is in real time. I left it in real time because... <laughs> I wanted, I wanted you guys to see how slowly I put stickers on pages. <laughs> like, I am so slow. I think about every sticker placement and how I'm going to layer it up and everything. And it looks so... When I, when I speed my videos up, I always laugh because I'm like, it looks like I just went with it. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like I w just knew where all the stickers were going to go. And I just, I glared them up and put them on there so purposefully. When in fact, this is the real story. <laughs> and this is where we're going to call this layout all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this little kind of different video. Um, a little bit broken up a little differently than normal. And uh, yeah, I will link up uh, the inks in the sketch bundle that I got from Allison Davis and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everybody. Bye.